Yeah, it seems like you got some uh, your idols here in the room right now, which is uh, probably why. Oh, I turned the transition off. Hey, everybody. Hi. Uh, it's going to take me a second to figure all of this out because I lost my old scenes a long time ago. And I remade them as quickly as I could. Also, I don't quite have a filter set up for this. So I'm going to have to check the, uh, the framing a little bit. You get a kind of a fuzzy view of all Stephanie's wonderful decorations. Good morning, everyone. Um, yeah, it's it's like also kind of cut through because this was a filter I made for something else. Haven't really adjusted it yet. It'll be really funky because my mic now has like really quick fall off. So if I'm back here, well, I guess you can still kind of hear me. Kind of. Kind of hitting the noise gate a little bit. Okay. I'm busting out some squats. That looks all right. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> That's right, Joe Oven. You're going to get a view of it all. Uh, provided that... Provided that... Uh, I did the transfer okay. So we'll see how that works out. Oh, come on, what? Oh. So RingFit has to download a patch. Because it's a new Switch. I, got, I was lucky enough to get one of the OLEDs. Okay, that's going quickly. That's fine, it gives me time to set up my yoga mat. I've been using this thing for like five years. It's starting to get a little, ah, a little mat bear. Got like a little crumbly shaved out of it. Hope y'all are ready. Yeah, I can barely hear you back there. Yeah, I'll have to just be on mic. I used to have a really like sensitive mic and would pick up the entire room, but I've, I've switched to my tech. So this, this actually produces a lot better sound quality, but I have to be really up on it. Scan lines ruin your eyes. Sorry about that. If I had time, I would have made a better filter. But, here we are. Is the OLED switch worth it? Um, if you play in handheld mode a lot, yes. If you don't play in handheld mode, no. Because it's not different at all for you. But, I've been playing a fair amount. Uh, yes, uh, I had an S uh, this is an SM7B. The one I had before was the Audio-Technica AT2020. Uh, very sensitive mic. Very good mic, if you have multiple people you want to pick up. What'll be interesting about this is, since I have to play Ring Fit Audio through the room, hopefully this mic won't pick it up, and you guys won't get an echo. I've actually thought about, with this particular mic, if I tweak the noise gates and stuff, I might be able to just play with natural audio, and the mic won't pick it up. And then I don't have to play with headphones on. Uh, ooh, look at how bright I got! Dee -dee 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 -dee. Actually, wait a minute. I thought about some Wait, 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 wait. Oh, well, if I make the filter... Accessory, leg if I make the filter, like, partially opaque. Also, the little the little label is probably going to be off because I just had to do it by hand. Make sure you have a clear... Well, it looks good enough. Whatever. See the instructions. Oh, this is like a first-time setup. Uh-oh. Did it not get my save file? Hmm. I'm concerned about this. Sit down in a chair. Uh, if it didn't transfer my save. Above the center Maybe I have to manually download it from cloud or something. Let's see. Oh, that's right. It thinks it's two different controllers when you start ring fit. Right. Got to do the story again? I really don't want to start over. God, what is okay if this is considered... Oh, that's that's player. That's second player. Okay, weird. Well, you know, this is an interesting way to start the day. Welcome to stream stream week, everybody. Welcome to stream week, everybody. It was always going to be weird. All right, let's see here. Ten fourteen. Let's take a closer. Ten fourteen. Always makes you do the setup. Yeah, I think I think you might be right. Because it is, it is synced from October 14th, which I think last time I played. Okay, yeah, okay, all right. Wait, update. Wait, wait. Nope. Mm. Update. Does the story include avoiding an old man in the locker room hanging dong? I think there might be some references to that. The game is, the game is shockingly, like, aware of fitness culture. Sure and wraps it in in a bunch of kind of goofy ways. I mean, I think... Leg strap around your thigh. 
Yeah, the mic's not picking it up. Great. Um, just the fact that the main villain, Drago, like, got fit and then became, like, a fitness asshole. And, like, started making fun of people for not being fit. And that's why he's the bad guy. It's because he got, like, too... He got too beefed and too full of himself. He is really beefed, though. Oh, baby. Also, I think... I think, uh... I think I'm in a boss fight. So we'll get to see Big Beefy Drago. All sweaty with his giant legs. I did it. The leg strap is firmly fastened over the center of your left thigh. I haven't finished the story, but I don't trust the ring creature. Tip? Next, let's prepare the ring con. <laughs> Tip is a bro. Tip has yet to attach yet to uh, betray me. By sliding it into the ring con. Slide until you I stepped on this thing and there was a loud snap, but it still works just fine. So, hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Time to patch. All right. This is this is gaming. This is gaming today. Any tips on how to be cool? Hmm. What type of cool are you going for, Squiggy? If you're like 20 and you want to be cool, that's different than being like 30 or 40 or 50 and being cool. So my tips are gonna scale. Oh, what's up, turtles? Lick me. <clears throat> I'm doing pretty good. I just uh, squished down some breakfast, and now I'm going to hop around, so let's find out. My goal was to... I usually end these out workouts at around 100 calories, but I think I need to kick it into overdrive a little bit. Uh, I think I need to... Uh, I think I need to, to pump it up to 200. <sighs> Nork, be careful. Be careful with weird body comments now. Be careful. Twenty-seven, and you want to be cool. Okay, that's an interesting. That's an interesting. Uh, oh, oh, you heard me say it. My bad. My tips got you. Okay, okay. You just. I. I understand. Uh, my bad. Uh, but yes, they do, and uh, yes, they will. Uh, sorry, Nori. No, no worries. It was a miscommunication. Um, I'm a little sensitive, but. Uh, oh yeah. So you want to be cool at twenty-seven? Hmm. Well, twenty-seven is when you have to stop giving a fuck. That's when being cool is just figuring out that you are who you are, and you like what you like. Um, so that that's tough, though. That's tough, because it's going to take a while. Do the things that interest you, even if others are negative about it, and treat everyone like you meet an old friend. Damn! Booska, Booska fucking... Booska got it for me. Thank you. That's right. America's weight. Freedom measurements. 27 furlongs to the hog's head. That's how I like it. I'm trying to couch blind, bind us and turn us into couch potatoes with your wonderful stream? No. Different. Yeah, here we go. Okay, good. My sweet save. I'm a hang timer. But like, I'm only level 93. No thigh cam. I might, I might pop it down. Well, like, yeah. I gotta go pretty far back to uh, to get the leg cam in. I I can always just knock it down whenever I'm doing a like a yoga exercise or something. Come on, keep turn down the difficulty. No, max difficulty. Always thirty. Lose audio, but gain thighs. Yeah, that's pretty much the exchange. Three, two, one, go. Alternate bringing your knees up to touch the ring con. Be mindful of your body and stretch within the range of your ability. Last time. All right. Good. This candle cam for thigh cam? I'm already doing it. That's what this is. Stretch. Oh no. My tummy was falling out. Gotta hike ankle. this bad boy up. Toward the ring con. <clears throat> this stretch can help make your hips more flexible. Last time. Yes. Just like that. Next is the back straightening stretch. Take a big step forward and drop your hips. Focus on lowering your body without putting too much weight on your front foot. Be sure to keep your lower back straight. Let's do one more of each. All right, good. Finally, this one always pops something. Raise the ring con above your head and lean to the side. Focus 
on leaning to the side without bending forward. This should stretch both the muscles in your sides and in your arms. Let's do one more of each. Great job! How much does the ring weigh? Not much at all. It's very light. Um, there are some exercises that use the ring as a weight, but they're usually like tempo exercises where you have to like extend an arm and hold it for a while. And you know, when you're 50 reps into that, that actually starts to burn a little bit. But largely it's used as like, in movements like that, used as a stretching utility. Ooh! Level up off the bat. Yeah, low weight, high reps, exactly. This, this game and the workouts they put into it are very smart. They're all like, they all like involve a bunch of dynamic body movements at the same time. I finally finished this quest. Got some rubies for it. You never changed stream name. I didn't. You're right. Thank you for letting me know. Gotta. I'm gonna turn on a window. Yeah, the scan lines make it hard to see. Yeah. Yeah. Here, let me... Try something here. I mean, there's this, but I don't have a filter that's, like, wide... Wide? So it's smaller. But... Yeah, I guess if I stand like that, that's okay. That's probably better, right? Just a little more, a little more out of frame. Oh. Waist set, perfect. Get into it, time to get sweaty. Widen the filter in Photoshop or GIMP real quick. Red. Red, it's an active stream. And I'm pulling a switch in through my PC. <laughs> Just widen the filter in Photoshop real quick. Um, yes, that is that is what would fix this situation, but I'm that would take like at least 10 minutes probably, and I'd have to I'd have to change basically everything about my uh like I'd have to step away from stream again. And that's always a trade-off there. Oh you're good. It's a it is an accurate and workable solution. Um, it is actually that easy. Uh, Red, you're, you're entirely correct. It's just like, I, have, I basically have to change everything about my uh, desktop setup to, uh, to do it, so. But yeah, before tomorrow, I'll probably make a better filter for this. I used to have a whole layout, and I don't think I have it anymore. <laughs> yeah, I guess I could, I could, yeah, maybe, maybe streaming Photoshop is how to get around it. Oh, no worries, third, third ten, you're not, you're not. You're not wrong in assuming that it's quick. It actually is, but uh, my workstation is the same as my streaming station, and now I've converted it to being a Switch streaming. So, you know, that's all. But anyway. So something like that you would typically do with a medicine ball, right? Uh, but... 
Oh, thank you very much for sending my demo disc at the House of Pain event. It was nice to meet you and the old crew. Oh, cool. Well, it's good to make your acquaintance again. Uh, welcome to the stream. What, uh, which demo disc did you have? Man, that whole night was just a blur. God. I've done some wrestling since then, but... I avoid this move because the motion control always freaks out. Oh, really? I've had issues with that, too. I think maybe Joy-Cons start, start dying after a while. When you did your Witcher 3 Death March gameplay, did you have enemy upscaling on? Well, my understanding of that feature is that it scales lower level enemies up to you. It doesn't scale current level enemies higher. So, no, because I did not see any value in making, like, level 1 bandits a time-consuming challenge. Uh, because I'd already killed them, and I leveled up. I don't know, the combat in Witcher 3, like, some of the boss fights were pretty fun, but the average enemy encounters weren't that thrilling, so I didn't really see the value in scaling all the lower-level enemies up. Oh, no big, no big deal, Red. Uh, if you want to, sure. That'd be, it'd be an interesting blast from the past. Alright, now here's the deal. This is the pact I make with Twitch. Um, when I play a game, I expect, nay, demand, that people backseat me relentlessly. Uh, and Ring Fit is no exception. So I want nothing but critical commentary about my form and my work ethic. You could just hammer me with those. Just constant shotgun, please. Okay, let's move. Don't let your knees get in front of your toes. Well done. Keep it up. Very nice. Perfect. Okay. Fantastic. I can tell what the framing is. Oh, it's okay. All right. Nicely done. Nice. Amazing. Neat. Excellent. Great. Awesome! Okay! Amazing! Good job! Sharp! Great! Twenty more! Fine work! Nice! Okay! Wonderful! Excellent! Sharp! Fantastic! Perfect! Yes! Yes! Amazing! Fine work! Nice! Fine work! Fantastic! Excellent! Awesome! Fantastic! Keep it up! Ten more. Okay. Nicely done. Very nice. Excellent. Yes. Yes. Amazing. Well done. Wonderful. Great. Five more. Okay. Good job! Three! Neat! Excellent! Great! Perfect! One left! Right on! Flawless! Overhead hip <sighs> Oh, hip shake? This one's fun. This one's a cooldown. <laughs> you know what, though? The more I think about it, I swear to God, I did have a wide filter that doesn't have hand lines on it. Hmm. Yeah, Turtles, this game is this game is very encouraging. Uh, it doesn't do that Wii Fit thing of sort of... Ooh. Playing it for the first time now, about 60 hours in. Easily defeating low-level bandits is a good... 
but I like to think keeping them up to my level feels a bit more immersive and more of a challenge. Mm. Yeah, I guess at some point I just did not find the average combat of Witcher 3 that challenging or immersive. It was just sort of... It was the same thing, it just took longer uh, on Death March when, uh, when everything's scaled up, so... That was my experience, but... Wait a minute. Not good framing. There we go. Shake your hips. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, good. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, good. One, two, move so your hips move to the side. One, two, one, two, halfway there. Two, one, two, one, two, twenty more. Some of those hip shakes were fine. I don't know why. I don't know why it was being so ridiculous. Twist. Right. Left. 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 Open your chest up and stand straight. Left. Right. Left, right, left, right, left, right, halfway there. Left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, twenty more. Left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, ten more. Left, right, left, five more. Left, right. Nice move. Oh, Tartarus Anvil, thank you for the sub, by the way. Ah, okay, this is a challenge. Slowly bend to the left. Perfect. Lower a little more. This should work your lower body. I have to, like, tilt. Ugh. Slowly bend to the left. Bend a little more. No, 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 no. Oh. Slowly bend to the left. Bend a little more. Uh. Okay, let's switch sides. How is this a game? Or how is this game? Is it actually a good workout? It is. Uh huh. Uh, you can scale the intensity of the workout. There's like a difficulty setting, but you can it can gas you. The thing is, like, you can also pick. You, I can't right now because this is a preset challenge. But you can pick the like workouts that are in your roster, kind of. Like you know, in a JRPG, you can. Uh, oh, sorry, third third ten. I turned off. I turned off link sharing because I was asleep. I didn't want anything weird happening. Let me turn that back on here. All right. You should be allowed to share a link now. Open the shirt. Nice, big. Ah, okay. So, uh, BB number nine. Well, I'm only going to do a boss fight, but that might... That might be a good uh, good showing of like how difficult the game can be. I don't necessarily have the most difficult workouts set in my like my list of uh, attacks. It's kind of how they are, but might have made it go motivated me to go for a hike. Ooh, I love to see it. Love to see it. That's right. You got to be active. You got to move around. Got to do things in the physical world. Bend to the right. 
perfect. Lower a little more. It's okay to lower your leg if it's too hard. Uh, people are asking about the intensity of the workout. So this is this is the annoying answer. Hope I got over 90. Yes. Um, this is the annoying answer. There's no one thing that's going to like make you realize all of your fitness goals. Um, there's no one thing that's going to make you lose weight. There, well, there might be, but uh, most for most people, it it has to be a lot of things. It's got to be it's got to be activity and diet. Um. As a game unto itself, this game is a lot more intense than Wii Fit was. Um, so, if that's your basis of comparison, because I found Wii Fit a little underwhelming in terms of its intensity. Uh, it is more intense than that. You can choose to do a long workout and burn a lot of calories. You probably will never gain a lot of muscle mass playing this because it's not weight training. You need to push heavy stuff if you want to get big. And you need to eat a lot if you want to get big. But if you want to, like, increase your overall level of fitness, if you want to become more aware and more conscious of your fitness, this game is perfect for that. When it comes to losing weight, though, um, and dropping body fat, this can help, but it's diet. You've got to you've got to undereat, and that's it. <laughs> that's that's been my understanding. Um, if you are an athlete, you can probably be active enough to have that activity actually put a dent in your caloric intake. But it is so easy to overeat, and it is so hard to burn off calories. <laughs> Yeah, everyone's body's different. That's exactly true. My best toast. Though. Beat Saber is really good cardio. Uh, DDR is really good cardio. Oh. This game can be good cardio, but the cardio comes in spurts. And again, you can kind of dictate your own pace. If you, like, there are running sequences and then JRPG battles where you do uh, alternate exercises to fight enemies and then they hit you back. Um, okay, good. I think they'll have me do... Oh, jeez. Okay. There's a quest to get through a stage doing as few steps as possible, so I'm going to be jumping a lot. So this is going to be a little wacky, but... I need to, I need to buy more sesame seeds. Ah! I've been dating someone who thinks that eating good food and listening to your body is the best option. Not restricting your diet because most of that is tied to shame and not science. Well, I don't know. Nutrition is pretty science-based. Um, and the way that your body like takes in food and it affects your body chemistry, that is, it's pretty science-based. However, I will say that like the fitness and diet industry has their own agenda when it comes to stuff like that. So eating good food and listening to your body, that's true. But I do think that some people, some people take that, that message and then use it to justify maybe bad behaviors. Uh, or, not bad, but behaviors that take them further away from their fitness goals, I guess is the, way, the most diplomatic way to phrase that. But I should say, in the middle of all this, I'm no expert. You know, look at me, I don't, I don't quite, I haven't achieved my fitness goals, so unhealthy, yeah. But yeah, eating good food um, in moderation is how fitness is done. I'm, uh, I'm currently, I think the difference is this time and where I'm at now. I've recently put on some weight, but I did it knowingly as I went on vacation, drank a lot of wine and ate a lot of food. You can't go to Italy and come back Finish. without gaining some weight, right? It just wouldn't be right. So, uh, this time at least I don't feel super out of control, but, uh, okay. I wanted to double up all those sweet ingredients. But I think this is just going to be a running course. 
I have ADHD and genetic disposition to diabetes, meaning listening to my body means consuming copious amounts of candy. I don't listen to my body on food recommendations. Yeah. Yeah. You guys are, I think you really just like... What? Oh, oh I didn't know you could make smoothies in a level. Jeez. Yeah, the... The tough thing about fitness is, like somebody else said, and it's super true, that everyone, everyone's body is different, everyone's mind is different, everyone's like level of, everyone's self-image is different, everyone's like body trauma is different, all of the behaviors we form and the cultures we form around food, it's all different. So the way that people find out how to navigate their own behaviors is different. That said, um... There are some things that seem to be universal, or more likely than not to apply to people. Something that's ridiculously helpful is learning to stop eating when you're full. Sounds easy, but takes a lot of unlearning. It really does, yeah. The, to stop eating when you're full, to recognize what full is, to recognize the symbols your body is sending to, signals your body's sending to you that you don't need to eat anymore. Even though there's that panicked animal in your, in your brain that's like always huddling in the back of a cold cave, desperately certain that you're going to never find food again. At the end of every meal, yeah. Self-regulating emotions with food is the hardest thing for me personally. Yeah, it's it's tough. Liver poop! Thanks for gifting a sub. All right, I'm gonna be doing a lot of hopping and floating this this thing because it's a quest, so this maybe not won't be the most ind indicative of the game, but it will show you how varied it can be. Yeah, the game even tells you it's gonna be weird. You've got it. Love it. Keep pushing me into your stomach. Was a great run now turn your exercise into experience points with a victory pose got it charge your squat power but don't overextend your release victory we're playing this fitness game 
being straight up with me about fitness getting weird sometimes would probably make me feel more comfortable. It's very good about that. It's very good about making you feel accepted. No matter how awkward, sweaty, fumbling, bloated and pink you might be. Lightly cover the IR motion camera with the pad of your right thumb as shown. Measuring. Please do not move your thumb. Ooh. Does the leg strap slide a lot? Well, it depends how tight you put it. And for me, I'm wearing it on top of these like really slick running shorts. So if I do a lot of hopping or bouncing, they tend to, tends to slide down. Uh, Space Dassey. I don't think this thing is gonna break. Like I said, I've stepped on it and it's totally fine. Uh, so red, it kind of has a pulse sensor. It uses the IR sensor on the top of the Joy-Con to measure your like thumb wiggling. It's ridiculous how accurate that sensor is, but it works. Um, as far as I can tell, it's pretty accurate about measuring my heart rate. Look at all that cash. Yeah. And you can like, if you have a real problem if you're wearing like running shorts like I am, and it keeps falling down, you can just put it on, you can strap it to your skin under, under your shorts. Oh. Adioko, so you wanna ask a question? Go for it. All questions welcome. Maybe. I'm sure you're fine. All right. Another side quest. Mixed shard. I think I, I think I have that recipe. How challenging is the exercise? Does it feel like an actual workout? Mm. To a degree, you can set the intensity of the exercises. If you want to go ham, yes, it feels like an actual workout. But since it's not, it's all body weight, so it's not going to be like a resistance training. Oh, but yeah, it's it's good for sure. Using the IR sensor and the Joy-Con is the same way pulse oximeter at a hospital works. It reads the reflections of your skin and can tell the difference in color between heartbeats. Ah, that's cool. Fuck, that's cool as hell. About Doom Eternal, the year one pass contains both Ancient Gods episodes. I'm pretty sure yes. I'm pretty sure yes. I want to say yes, but you might want to verify. Usually, um... Usually, uh, there's a list of all the containing... contained stuff. Oh no, do I not have a mixed? There it is. That was close. I'm all ready. Yeah, and you can you can go for as long as you want too. The game will recommend that you stop Squeeze. around like a 30 minute workout time, around 100 calories burned for me. But you can just say, no, I want to keep going and just keep going. The game is also really good about continuously reinforcing that you don't have to blow out yourself out on any given day. It's more important that you just keep coming back. So it's more like, hey, you know what? If you, you've already done some stuff, if you want to stop now and continue tomorrow, that's fine. Just make sure you come back tomorrow. <laughs> and then the game also even kind of dips into the, the nutrition side of it. You make smoothies that are like buffs, but then other characters talk about it. K choose, yes, I've been playing Ring Fit for 25 hours straight. I have. <sighs> Wonder how many people actually beat the game? It is a long game. That's the other thing too. This game is video gamey as shit. There's a whole skill tree. And this is actually zoomed out from the one that starts, so they keep adding skills to it, even though I thought I was about to end the game. They're like, nah, there's more. Um, I think I'm, I'm trying to work towards these question marks now. Who knows what these mysterious question marks are? I guess this is the closest one. Been really busy in life lately and I have fallen out of my old healthy habits. The game looks like a fun way to get back into it. I think it is, yeah. It, it is like the most successful gamification of fitness 
that I've found yet. And I was super into a lot of the fitness games that came out on the Wii. EA Active, I actually really, really liked. Uh, had a great soundtrack and was actually a lot more intense than Wii Fit. Um, but this is my favorite by far. It's also JRPG, and I love those. Oh, you finished in around 80 workout sessions, 100% it, even has a new world plus. Really? I think I'm at like 60 sessions now? How many worlds are there? Kidding. What? And also, what is New World Plus? Is it just the game again, but harder? That's really interesting. I feel like I should make some smoothies before this boss fight. Let's squeeze! You never have a connect. Yes. I couldn't stand most of the connect fitness titles. The connect was just too inaccurate and didn't give good feedback. Like, it would bonk you. It was like, you did this exercise wrong. But it wouldn't really, couldn't tell you how. And I didn't know what it wanted. I could never, like, figure out how to use the connect as a controller in the way that I did with the balance board or any other, like, fitness thing. It was just frustrating. I didn't have a good time with the connect Ever. <laughs> I can't... Let's see here. That Fable game was okay. It was like a Fable rail shooter that was all right. Um, and how long before the ring wears out? I don't know if it's going to. It certainly will last last one run of the game, and then some. Squeeze! This game would up my smoothie intake. Video game food always inspires me. It probably would for me, if. Cleaning up after a smoothie weren't so time-consuming. Mm. Ah. Oh, this is a stage. 32 minutes! Oh, boy. 160 calories. Well, hey! Hey, there's a 69 in there. Nice. What's the ring made of? Just straight-up rubber? Uh, it's like really resistive rubber, I guess. Really squishy. 23 worlds, haven't played New World Plus, but as stated, keep everything and continue from the beginning with harder endings. Okay, so you can just keep rolling again. That's neat. Okay, I'm gonna have to move the mic so it's not directly in the way of the camera. There we go. I actually don't use any healing moves because I just use items. It doesn't take a take a an attack from me. Work. 
Oh! That's, that's a lot of an attack. That's a lot of attack for a very easy workout. Ooh. It's gonna be a good one. Are you okay? Take a break if you need to. You pause at any time. Yes, you can. You can like stop in the middle of a workout, pause at any time. The game never ever forces you or even encourages you to keep going or pushing it. It's really nice. Try bending your elbow slightly and keep pulling on me. accidentally hit the capture button same here it's just the shoulder so you always bonk it yeah my capture gallery is just filled with random screenshots from ring fit good job I already have to pull that thing um not so there's a couple of moves where you have to push and hold uh, there's like breaking rocks there's doing ab guard you don't actually have to push that hard to activate it, but you can push harder or pull harder if you want to give yourself more of a workout. So, I think I had a... You can squish it all the way, like... That's about what they consider 100%. If you really want to, you can, like... It's, it's kind of, like, almost exponential how much harder it pushes back when you squish it in. And you can push it till your knuckles are touching, and that's very difficult. Especially since it starts like kind of wiggling, so you have to use a lot more stabilization muscles to hold it like that. Same with pulling. It activates about there. If you want to, you can like really muscle it. So. Oh, the strength needed can be adjusted as well. I didn't know that actually. I've always just left it at default, which is pretty generous. Uh, if, if all you want to do is the bare minimum. But the goal of the game, I think, is to allow you to scale up with what makes you comfortable. realize oh that'd be better like up here I don't think there's anything up there See you anymore after this.
Oh yeah. Lots of lots of puns in this game. Mm. I think that's Armando. I can't remember the ab guy's name. <laughs> oh, Abdul? Yeah. Abdonis. There we go. Ooh, look at Allegra. Throwing it off. Hmm. Ooh. really good music too. It's got this main theme, but then the theme like changes based on the exercise you pick. Like, if you pick a yoga exercise, it gets very like Middle Eastern, and then it clicks back into like rock if you pick like a, a an arm exercise. Ah, this game's so fucking good. back actually needs a lot of work. I think, I think I have a torn muscle back there. Motorcycle accident. It's like one, there's one muscle that like me to freak out and lock up. Okay, let's move. Hold it away from your face to aim. Well done. Fantastic. Good job! Excellent! Keep it up! All right! Wonderful! Yes! Yes! Amazing! Nice! Good job! Perfect! Nicely done! How far is moving? Well, it is a boss fight. Okay! Excellent! Very nice! Great! Great! Oh god, they're really not moving. Okay! Awesome! Fine work! Amazing! Oh! Increase your pace! Fine work! Fine work! Alright! Five more! Great! Fantastic! You got it! One left! Okay, let's switch sides. Okay, let's move! Good for working those upper arms. Great! Fantastic! Neat! Amazing! Fine work! Sharp! Yes! Yes! Amazing! Great! Fantastic! Well done! Keep it up! Argo, you find it more of a cardio workout or do you actually get some muscle fatigue like lifting? Um, if you've lifted weights, this will not make you sore. It doesn't provide that kind of workout. But I think what you might find if you do lift weights is that there's a lot of stabilization, like all the yoga muscles you typically probably don't use a lot, those might be activated and sore. So this really is like a full body fitness kind of game. It's not quite like CrossFit. Think of it like a really friendly interval training kind of game. So it's meant to make you move between a lot of different motions, but it gives you plenty of time to do it. It's not as like intense and fuck you as CrossFit tends to be. So think of it more of like cross training. I mean to just get in some general body fitness. But if your goals are to put on muscle mass, this game won't, won't do that for you. Uh, but it is an awfully compact and fun way 
It burns some calories and just gets your body moving. Moving through a lot of motions and stabilization routines that you just don't do if all you do is walk around or work, sit on a couch, something like that. Nice. Very nice. Oh, you need that movement-based workout. Perfect. Nice. Um, and what I would recommend, if you have a workout regimen, this is really good for like a light day or a, a rest day. Um, if you have a rest day from weight training, this I think would be a really good thing to sort of pave over that gap. Um, I think uh, I'm focused on dropping body weight right now, so I'm, I'm holding off on weightlifting for the time being, focusing on diet and doing this. Uh, this to just maintain a decent level of fitness. But um, when I get back to, to weightlifting, what I think I'm going to do is probably like four days lifting, two days ring fit, and then one day off. My theory. Let's we'll see if I stick to it. It just requires like, unfortunately, it requires awesome. reliable gym access. And All right. If you're traveling, it's not that easy. Okay. Perfect. Well done. Great. Nicely done. Okay. Great. Let's pick up the pace. Good job. Okay! Come on! Alright! Excellent! One left! <sighs> Flawless! Good! That'll keep you going! Hold pose! Take it to the floor! You can just take a break if you need to. Bend slowly. <laughs> Bend slowly. Sloppy near the end, but you should feel it in your stomach when you breathe oh. out. Ah! It's happening. <laughs> No, you, they would do debuffs like that. That's neat. But you played along with a five pound weight. Yeah. Those kind of become like skull crushers. If you have weight, it'd be neat if, oh my God, if they had like little weights you could clamp on to the ring fit, just like snap on one or two pounds, that'd be, that'd be cool. Is there a way to get health back? Yes. You can either drink smoothies or there are specific moves that will give you health back. But I don't really have any of those set. So I just rely on, I rely on items. 
Uh, the birthing exercise. Get ready. Okay, let's go. Breathe out when you close your legs. Something comical about this whole thing? I agree. I think there's something, I mean, being fit is weird. It's just weird. Like, we're not, we're not running through the, you know, the fields, tackling gazelles and killing them with stones. We're not those people anymore. But I feel like the fact, there's just something I think cosmically comical about the fact that we're all, we're all hairless apes living in a life and society that our bodies weren't bred to be in. So, I've always found something uh, a little funny about that. So, the, the, the tax we have to pay to maintain our physical bodies, I don't know. I always thought it was a little funny. And this game is very comical because of that. It works better as something comical rather than if it were serious. I agree. I think Ring Fit was a little more dry in tone. But this game really makes really embraces how silly exercise can be which i think also prevent like really helps anyone from feeling self-conscious this game is so wacky and goofy like it's it's being weirder than you would ever be <laughs> kind of you're the normal one in the room no matter how out of shape or weird or pasty or sweaty you are great it again i i just really can't every time i play this game i think of new things to appreciate about your it. legs bend slightly squeeze step on me <laughs> oh, grinding it in That sassy little, sassy little flip. Oh. Careful! You don't have many hearts left. When does that last? Yeah. One of these. Okay, let's move. Don't let your knees get in front of your toes. Fine work. Amazing. Neat! Amazing! Nice! Fantastic! Great! 30 more! Well done! Perfect! Very nice! Amazing!
Okay! Nicely done! Fantastic! Perfect! Good job! Awesome! Fine work! Fantastic! Great! Wonderful! Yes! Yes! Twenty more! All right! Keep it up! Well done! Excellent! Excellent! Amazing! All right! Excellent! Oh! Challenge yourself! Fantastic! Okay! You got it! Three! Great! Keep it up! One left! Nice! Perfect! Oh shit. What are you doing? Why squat? Ah, uh, come on! Crap. Lower your hips. Violet Venon, thank you for the sub. Wait a minute. Okay. Hold on. Start framing. Here. Foot battle. Ugh. Lower your hips. Fine work. Keep your legs bent. Okay. <laughs> Long hold, you know it is. The foot battle. Foot battle. Ah. I love this game. This game is so good, right? It's so fucking good. Too good. I really like it. I have. I'd be able to take out a leg river. today. Ah, uh, Kimmy, uh, I had a similar problem where I would uh, fall, out of, fall out of practice. What really helped me in the past and what I'm going to get back into doing, which you know, streaming it. Starting my stream days with this. I've been doing this before streams, but why not? Uptime only helps. In early 2020, what I used to do was start streaming with a workout like this, then go, like, put it into break mode, go take a shower, and then start streaming, but... Right, right. Okay, let's move! Target your abs with this. Okay! Keep it up! Nice! Good job! Amazing! Very nice! Nicely done! Fantastic! Amazing! Fine 
work. Awesome! Well done! Perfect! Neat! Fantastic! Great! Sharp! in your stomach, not your arms. Man has abs. Why? You're just buried in there somewhere. Motion controls are still motion controls at heart. <laughs> Careful! You don't have many hearts left! Well, that's frustrating. It would have done a lot of damage. Exercise. It's a good cool down one. Overhead arm spin. Great.
rotate the ring con around. Turn! 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 Upward! Turn! 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 Halfway there! Yeah, Captain, what was what was the problem? You're having that network error? I'm, cu I'm really curious what the problem was. Sometimes I get that, but usually if I just refresh my browser, it's fine. So I'm really curious what your issue was. Uh. Oh, or 20 69 Thank you very much for the sub. What's that name? Good name. Good Mimi name. Keep squeezing. <laughs> One thing I find weird is it won't let me do the, like, flamey hair ab, ab guard. Huh? There's, like, two levels of charge. You get, like, a little flame head and then a big flame head, which kind of indicates how much you're sinking into a particular motion. But a lot of the times, um, ab guard only lets me do the, like, small flame guard. I don't know why. Oh, boy. All right. Back press. Ah. Uh, not very good at back press. And firmly on the ring. Yeah. Yeah. Keep yeah. squeezing the ring. Yeah. Yeah. Yes! Yes! Okay! Jojo pose yet? Yeah, you're right. Nice. Great. Oh. Maybe that's what you snapped. Stepped on it? No, I was doing that before I stepped on it. Just like this I was only getting like low grade. But it sometimes it'll still work though. So maybe there's some exercises uh, you can't do a super guard against. That's all I can think. Oh, thank you, Evan. I need to exercise at some point in my life in this game. And your powerful esports moves have shown me. Good. This is a great game. And uh, anything that gets gets gamers more active, I want gamers to have good quality of life. I want gamers to feel happy and healthy while gaming. Oh, an add-on forced HTML5 player, and I guess it was just busted. Oh, interesting. That's weird. HTML5 is supposed to save the internet. Not supposed to do that.
stand up. No need to rush, though. <sighs> Feel it in your stomach when you breathe out. Yeah, Nikki. This is a very core focused boss fight. I've also uh, just incidentally, I think, put in a lot of attacks that are core focused because they hit more than one target. So you can choose the slate of plate of uh, exercises you have to attack with. Careful. I think mine are incidentally abco. I'm not done yet. Is everything? Vocal. Vocal again. Okay, let's go! Hold the ring on while breathing in. Fantastic! Sharp! Okay! Excellent! Fantastic! Good job! Excellent! Very nice! Wonderful! Great! Perfect! Excellent! Yes! Yes! Alright! Switch sides. Okay, let's go. Be careful not to lower your elbows. Fantastic. Awesome. Very nice. Amazing. Okay. Excellent. All right. Arms are shaking. Penny spaghetti. Ugh. Well done. Sharp. Nice. Keep it up. Yes. Yes. Great. Increase your pace. I wonder if one could pull the ring apart. I don't know. You'd have to. Somebody, I'm sure, has tried. How hard is that to pull? So it's not very hard, but you can, like, you can muscle it as hard as you want, and it'll basically take everything you have to give it. So you you don't have to pull it super hard to, like, qualify for the exercise. But if you want to give yourself more of a workout, you can put more muscle into it. It's a pretty nice setup, actually. Like... You got it! All right! Five more! I typically put a little more juice into it. Keep it up! Yeah. The game requires. Fantastic! Excellent! <laughs> nah, who cares? Don't push it. There's a leg around coming a break for you. If you need to. Hold down, huh? I don't really want to do this one though. Press lunge pose. 
This is a really good, a really good movement, especially for me. Slowly twist to the left. Slowly return to the starting position. Try and keep your lower body still. The one quirk of this game Keep it up. is that certain motions start with one side every time. And if you kill enemies in the first half of the rep, you never end up working the other side of your body. That said, I think it starts with the left side on purpose because I'm right dominant. So any incidental workouts I do on the left side are only going to help balance my body out. Really proud of myself with Metroid Dread Drop and how I wasn't is. getting stuck on bosses. Then the tag team of Robo Chozo bitches show up. That is difficult. It is okay to struggle with that. I certainly did. Victory! Uh, Sabbath is for resting, not sweating. I'm gonna get Jesus Ab sitting around. screenshot of that. Blam. <sighs> oh yeah, Guru and Ma. The grandma, get it? Guru and Ma. Get it? Get it? <laughs> There's some moves that hurt my back and are hard for me to do. Daedalus. Wow. Daedalus. Hopefully there's like a fit dad. That'd be cool. He's got like a little belly, just a tiny tire. I guess that's kind of where I'm at. Yeah, Pop-Tart, I understand that. Um, I guess it, de I don't, I you know, obviously don't know what physicality you're working with, but luckily you don't have to like, the game is pretty clear about just do whatever uh, range of motion is, is healthy for your body. I think the idea is that if you do these motions safely over a period of time, whatever uh, tension or injury you have, hopefully your body will work through it. But then again, sometimes the opposite happens. I think I, I spent a good portion of my life training the wrong way. It's taking a long time to kind of unlearn that stuff. I can only presume you've been to physical therapy and you know how to, how to like navigate, navigate your body. Yeah, like at the end, it does all this celebrating of what you did. It shows you a giant rundown of all the calories you burned. It's trying, to, it tries very hard to positively reinforce everything. It's super good about it. I love it. Who is Cullen? Cullen is uh, somebody that I worked with briefly back at Machinima a long time ago, I think. I think it's that Cullen. Yeah. And then also the cooldown stretch kind of focuses on what you tend to be using more. Be mindful of your oh. body and stretch with more hips. Of your yep. ability. Join your hands together in front of you. Position your glutes as if you're going to sit down, then stretch your hands forward. Bring yourself back slowly. Right, huh? Put your hands on your lower back as if supporting it. Gently tilt your upper body backward 
but don't lean back more than is comfortable. Maybe that's too Again, stay in a comfortable range of movement. Bring yourself back slowly. Spread your feet, raise both hands, and hold your left wrist. While pulling on your wrist, tilt to the right and stretch your side. Return to your original position, switch hands, and bend the other way. Tilt directly to the side while taking care not to slouch. Bring yourself back slowly. Stretch your left arm to the side and hold it with your right arm. Pull in your arm and stretch the muscles of your left shoulder. Now do the same on the opposite side. Slowly stretch out, but be careful not to bounce. Bring yourself back slowly. Put your right leg forward and put your hands on your hips. Bend your right knee and stretch out your left calf. Now switch legs. I always feel like I'm slowly and do your best not only to bounce. just really sinking into the stretch when they switch. I think that's part of my unfamiliarity stretching. I do find that the more often I do it, the quicker my body can get Bring to that yourself little, back slowly. Like sink into stretch phase. And your stretching is complete. Good job. One of the things that like I still have to learn over and over again. That working out is also a skill, um, something that you get better at. Your workouts become more effective the more familiar you become with your body and the more efficient you are at working with it, at, at asking it to do something and then it being like, okay, <laughs> I know how to do that because you're talking to me in a language I understand. And then, yeah, it always ends with a really helpful tip. What can I do to keep fit? Answer, lots of things. Kind of mirroring what I was opining about at the beginning of the stream. Exercise is good, of course. Some other things to try include getting adequate sleep, practicing deep breathing, adding short stretch breaks throughout your day, going for walks, and even engaging in stress-relieving hobbies. A balanced eating plan, regular physical activity, and stress relief may help you feel your best. Bye. Yeah, they're also very short stretch phases. Uh, I, I think they're not trying to do that, like, really deep, big, big-ass stretch. I had an epiphany when I found out you can use other muscles to support exercises you wouldn't expect, like your core on squats. Absolutely, Argo Chris. Yeah, uh, especially if you're doing bodyweight exercises, so much of it is uh, activating all the other stabilization muscles you need to use to support the muscles that are actually doing all the work. Um, I have the opposite problem. I overactivate. When I do a workout, I tense up everything, and that actually ends up not hitting the muscle groups it's supposed to because everything else is so is so activated. Um, I don't know. I, I tend to, I'm, I'm a little too overzealous in pretty much everything. I like 110% attack everything I ever do. And when it comes to workouts, it turns out that's not great. Um, you have to actually let your body relax and find the muscle groups that are supposed to be activated. Otherwise you end up kind of wasting reps and wasting workouts. Uh, coach, I can, I can sign, I can sign a card if you want me to. That's not hard. I just drop it in the mail. So yeah, whatever you want me to do. I, if people ask me to sign it, I usually like do a little, write something stupid on it. Uh, okay. Workout complete. Now I'm going to go take a shower and write the sub newsletter that I post in the Discord every Sunday. So uh, I'm going to throw it back to clips for now. I'm going to be gone for maybe two hours. That's about how long it takes usually. And then I'll be back with some gameplay. Today is Cyber Sunday, as opposed to Sweaty Sunday, I guess. Uh, so probably going to be coming into uh, Cyberpunk again. I'm going to bust out the weird Cyberclaw controller. And maybe start the David Cage epic Omicron, the Nomad Soul, the cyberpunk uh, 
do whatever you want, go wherever you want, change the story however you like game from what, like 97, 98? Soundtrack by David Bowie. David Cage uh, at the at the quill and parchment writing the story. What could go wrong? I think this I think Omicron also tries to be like five different games. It's like an open world game, it's like a fighting game, it's a shooting game, and none of them are good. It is the most like it's one of the most pretentious games, which is really something coming from David Cage. Yeah, David Game, that's what we call him. Oh, a lot of updates. Yeah, it's I transferred everything to a new switch. And it turns out you can't can't just cram an SD card from one switch into the other. You have to re-download everything, so that's what I'm doing. Um, re-downloading all the games that I thought I might play, or are curious to see on a new screen. I got that I got that OLED switch, so uh, I'm I'm a rich man. But also, I have to admit, it is nice to have new Joy Cons because the old ones were getting kind of rattly and buzzy. Whenever I put them in, whenever I put them in here, they go. I was like, it's like somebody's really crappy stereo setup in the trunk of their car. Um, but this one is nice and padded. I've taken those other Joy Cons apart so much that I'm sure there's like adding tape and shit that's all worn out and not good in there. Now the question is, how long is it going to be until I get the itch and decide to try to customize these things? We still have the tri-wing screws? Yeah. Okay, like I said, break time. Uh, I'll throw it to clips for about two hours, uh, but I'll be back with video games. So see you guys then. Thank you very much for watching. And, and yeah, a couple of disclosures. This is part of Stream Week, a stream that never goes down for an entire week, except every 48 hours, because that's what Twitch uh, and then also, G Fuel's 30% off this weekend. So, if you feel like stocking up, time to meet the Panther. Rah! Oh, I don't think I put it on this one. Well, whatever. Here, let me do it. <laughs>